One day, God spoke to Abraham. He said, "Abraham, I want you to leave your home and go to land. I'm going to show you. I'm going to. I'm going to bless, bless you. you. I'm going to make you a blessing. You're going to become the father of many descendants. And they're going to be a great nation. So Abraham went and did what God wanted. One night." God told Abraham to go outside and count the stars in the sky. Abraham had a hard time doing that without losing track. There's a lot of stars. There's a lot of stars. Shine the sky. But God told him that's how many descendants he would have. Then God made sure Abraham knew he was serious. The special promise that God wouldn't break. Even if the promise took a long time to happen. For many years, Abraham waited. He waited and he waited. He and his wife Sarah grew older and older, and still they had no children. Sometimes it was hard to trust God. Then one day, many years later, when Abraham was one hundred years old, they had a son named Isaac. And many, many years after that, after many, many descendants, one of Abraham's descendants had a baby boy. The savior for the world. His, His name, name was Jesus. Jesus. His name was Jesus. What? His name was Jesus. God did what He said. He made Abraham and his family a blessing to the whole world. When we, when surrender, we surrender our, our life, to, life God, to God, we sometimes have to wait for Him to fulfill us His promises. But, but he, he always says, "He's that good." He's that good. He's that good. He's that good. He's that good.